Hi guys, it's Shannon from Inglots Pro Team. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the Water Spice Collection. The Water Spice Collection comes in a range of lipsticks, eyeshadows, lip liners and nail polishes. There is 10 eyeshadows to choose from and they are all 6 euro each. There is also 10 lipsticks to choose from and they are 15 euro each. There is also 5 lip liners and they are 15 euro each as well. So for this look I'm going to be starting off with my brows. I'm using 15 brow gel which is only 16 euro and can also be used as an eyeliner. I'm focusing more on my tail and whatever's left of my brush I'm just combing that through the front of my brow to make it more natural. Now I'm just combing through my brows to make sure no product is sitting on the skin. So recently I have dyed my hair to a fiery orange slash red so I want to make my brows a little bit more warmer and have that hint of red so I'm using 301 eyeshadow from the Water Spice collection and running that through my brows. So I'm just priming my eyes now using 95 under eye concealer. So this is going to make sure I have the perfect base for my eyeshadows and will make them last all day and all night. So now I'm just setting my concealer using 373 eyeshadow, so it's just a matte white. So to start of this look I'm going in with shade 303 from the Water Spice collection. It's a lovely mauvey pink and this is going to be my transition colour. So this is going to help all my darker shades really blend nicely. So I just like to build on your transition colour. It's optional how deep and how dark you want it. So I, I like mine to be quite dark. So now I'm going in with shade 296 from the Water Spice collection and I'm just doing the exact same method again but going a little bit lower because I still want that pink to pop through. So now with 301, which is the same shade I used my eyebrows, I'm just taking this on the same brush again and just focusing this a little bit lower again. So now with shade 297, which is a lovely dark purple, I am just focusing this mostly on the outer corner of the lid. Now with a small 10S brush and 302 eyeshadow, I am creating a wing effect. So with, with this look, I'm not using gel liner to create a wing. I'm actually going to just do like an eyeshadow wing. So this is really easy if you find wing eyeliner hard. So I'm really, I really want this to be quite deep and dark. So I'm really focusing and packing on that shade. So now with a baby wipe, I'm just cleaning up underneath. But to sharpen this line, I don't find the baby wipe does enough, so I'm then going to go in with some jaw line. So with a flat concealer brush, I'm just getting my jaw line and I'm just running that across the same way you would with a wing eyeliner. This is going to make the line super sharp and super clean. So to make it even more clean, I'm just going to take my 95 under eye concealer and completely clean underneath the eye. So now I'm just highlighting my inner corner using 118 pigment and now with my 13P I am just packing down some jaw line getting ready for my glitter. So the glitter that I'm going to be using is 116. This is my favourite glitter ever. And I'm just blending that out into the darker colours to make sure there's no harsh lines. So now I'm going in with 77 gel liner and I'm just lining my lash line. So now I'm just taking my 10S and I'm just blending all those shadows in together. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you're going to know how much I love 14N lashes. They're really wispy but really light, so if you find eyelashes really hard to wear, these are going to be your best friend. I'm just popping them on with some glue. So now, 
So now for foundation, I'm going in with 45 YSM because I'm wearing some fake tan. And I'm just building that up but using my Forest S brush. So now to highlight my under eyes, I'm going in with 97 under eye concealer. This has a slight peachy tone to it, so it's really going to help the darkness under my eyes. And to set that, I'm going in with 43 illuminating loose powder. And this is really going to give a nice glow under the eyes and make me look more fresh. So to set all over my skin, I'm using 405 press powder. This is also a HD product, so it's going to be really good for when I'm taking a photo. So I do have slight oily skin, so I'm really going to pack this down and make sure my skin is matted for the rest of the day. So now to bronzer, I'm going to use 73 bronzer. This is a nice medium shade, so it's going to be a nice transition color for my contour. So now for contour, I'm going in with 507 Sculpt and I'm really just chiseling out my cheekbones, forehead, nose and under my jawline. So now for the fun part to highlight, I'm going in with 153 HD highlighter and I'm just highlighting my cheekbones, nose and cupid's bow. I'm obsessed. So whatever I do to the top, I always do to the bottom. So I don't like my eyes to look top heavy or bottom heavy, so I like to have a nice balance. So I'm going in with all the first shades I went in the first time. So you have your light pink, your medium pink, your purple, and a little bit of your darker shade. So that's gonna be act like an eyeliner. So I'm just using that with a 10S brush to really kind of smoke out my lash line. Then just blend everything out in my 6S. So now to make my eyes look a little bit more bigger I'm going to go in with number five coal pencil so now for my favorite part of lips so I'm going in with shade 319 color play lip liner from the water spice collection and I'm just overdrawing my lips slightly so these lip liners are so soft and creamy so easy to apply and they come in five shades at just 15 euro and I just like to fill in my whole lip so it acts like a base and a primer for my lipstick So now for lipstick, I am using 443 Matte Lipstick from the Water Spice Collection and I'm mixing it with a little bit of Duraline so it's going to act like a liquid lipstick so it's going to go on really smooth like a lip gloss but it's going to dry matte and last all day. The matte lipsticks from the Water Spice Collection come in 10 different shades and are just 15 euro each. They are super matte and will last you all day. So what I like about this colour, it's like a rose kind of mauvey pink and it can be used on the cheeks and the eyes as well so guys that's the finished look thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed